It's LSU, it's USC, Sunday night in Las Vegas. What happens in Vegas, I promise you, it will not stay in Vegas. This game specifically, out of all the games that we have on our buffet for this week one slate, it's going to be beautiful for the college football Saturday on deck, college football weekend on deck, rather. I think this one, more than any of them, will be a quarterback duel. Now, why is that? And more importantly, what will this duel require of either quarterback to have success and ultimately lead their team to a dub on Sunday night. We'll talk about it right now. Before we do, though, two things I want to tell y'all. One, subscribe to the On3 YouTube channel. Y'all been great at doing that. We appreciate you for that. Second thing, this show, The Hard Count, is brought to y'all by Prize Picks. Now, if you have never played Prize Picks, no worries. It's super easy to play. It's daily fantasy. Prize Picks gives you a ton of player projections for their stats. We love to play college football, so we go ahead and play with that uh, category on prizepicks.com. But if you put two or more player projections together, you pick more or less on those stats, and you're off to the races, okay? So we'll give you our picks as it pertains to Garrett Nussmeyer and Miller Moss for this game. But prize picks bringing you all the hard count. Use code hard count at checkout. $5 in lineups, you play that, you get $50 in promo funds, again, using code hard count at prizepicks.com. So why do we believe this is a quarterback duel? Great question. What has been the talking point all offseason for LSU and USC? What have been the headlines out of Baton Rouge and LA? New defensive staff. Can they be better on defense? If they're better on defense, maybe the offense can make them a college football playoff team. Hey, if they get a defense, look out. That's been the, I mean, really that's been the same song and dance for a while in Los Angeles. It was a song and dance they had to do this past season in Baton Rouge, and that was a big reason why Brian Kelly said, no, thank you, we're resetting on that defensive staff. So Blake Baker now running the defense at LSU. Dan Lynn running the defense at USC. In this game, it is very, very fair to assume that even if those defenses are improved, there may be an acclimation period. It may not be a perfect game alignment-wise, assignment-wise, from either side of that thing. So when there's issues, you got to cash in if you're the quarterback. Whenever they leave some money on the table for you, this guy's lined up the wrong way. Hey, we played the wrong coverage here. We fit this the wrong way. You got to be the guy to capitalize. And again, I think that as much as these defenses will be improved, I think they're just going to be a, a fair amount of points scored. So as much as this is a quarterback duel and you're asking a lot of your quarterback, I think that what you're asking of Garrett Nussmeyer and what you're asking of Miller Moss It's a little bit different. Like the way that I look at this thing, if I'm Garrett Nussmeyer at LSU, my job in this offense is to be the exclamation mark. Like they're going to run the football. Big Will Campbell, he said in an interview already during uh, the course of this week leading into this game, we're going to run the football. And I love that for my offensive lineman that is given the honor of wearing number seven, has that number seven patch, which looks sweet. I love that attitude. So that tells me LSU is going to be complimentary offensively. And Garrett Nussmeyer, remember last year when they talked about Jaden Daniels and can he push the ball deep? Will he push the ball deep? And ultimately he did and had a lot of success. Uh, that's never your question for Garrett Nussmeyer. Like on this show, we have tried to create some traction for the nickname Gumbo Gunslinger. A little bit of success. Garrett Nussmeyer liked it, said it's up to the people, neither here nor there. But he's going to push it deep. His ability to connect deep with guys like Kyron Lacey, CJ Daniels, that's going to be massive to the outcome of this game. Because I think LSU offensively, yes, you have a new play caller in Joe Sloan, but I think the ultimate um, idea is the same. They want to be explosive, and they want to, I believe, ultimately work up to some big plays. So hitting on the big plays, being the exclamation mark at the end of those drives, the end of those sentences offensively for LSU, that's what I need to see from Garrett Nussmeyer. And if you're an LSU fan, that's what you want to see in order to win this football game. Not all on his shoulders. You don't have to run it and throw it like Jaden Daniels last year. But you do have to hit the big shot, hit the big plays downfield, and be able to capitalize when you get the look you want from that defense because of how you run the football and all the skill players you have on the perimeter. Now for Miller Moss, we talk about Garrett Nussmeyer having to be the exclamation mark. I think Miller Moss has to be the composer. Because when when you have a Lincoln Riley quarterback, it has been proven many a time. You play within the confines of his offense, good things happen. Caleb Williams, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts, like the list goes on and on. If you trust the script, you trust the sheet music that Lincoln Riley puts before you, you're going to be in good shape. And Miller Moss, his responsibility 
is to do exactly that. Go to the right place with the football. Similar to Garrett Nussmeyer, obviously, hit the open man downfield when he's there, gosh dang it. But we don't need you to be what Caleb Williams was last year. Like There were times last year where Caleb Williams on the RPO, maybe the look is to, to give it, and he's like, you know what? I'm pretty freaking good athlete. I'm going to scramble out of this, make a play. And if you're a USC fan, you're like, yeah, like I'm fine with 13 doing his own thing. That's not Miller Moss. That's not speaking down to Miller Moss, but that's just trying to emphasize like, hey, if you, if you do what you're supposed to do like you did in the Holiday Bowl, good things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen. So going back to that whole idea of him being a composer in this offense, I need like symphony music. Just pl- bring the right people in at the right time, the right instruments, keep us all on schedule, make sure we hit all the high notes we got to hit. We don't need the jazz. We don't, we don't need the guitar solo. We just need you to make everything work together. Keep it composed. Keep us on script. Trust the sheet music from Lincoln Riley and let's cook. All right, so I mentioned prize picks. The numbers for both these guys is very interesting. Both have very high projections when it comes to their pass yard total. Miller Moss, 285 and a half pass yards. Garrett Nussmeyer, 271 and a half pass yards. I'm taking the more on both of those. Okay, so that's a, a lineup for you right there. Again, two or more player projections. You put them together. You're off to the races. You picked the more or less on those projections. We're taking the more on both, and I think we're in good shape. The reason why I like the more there, I think both teams are going to ask their quarterbacks, like the whole point of this whole video, to maybe not carry them, but play a pretty large part in their uh, their efforts to win this football game. Like, there's not going to be any game managering from either of these quarterbacks. So, again, use code hard count, $5 in lineups played, We'll get you $50 in promo funds. Again, it's over at prizepicks.com using code HARDCOUNT. Going to be a good one in Vegas, man. Quarterback duel about to go down, and I can't wait for it. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to keep this party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.